Okay, welcome back to the channel, and we've got a special um, sort of show type thing for you today. I'm going to take a series of Schumacher's cars from that are available to me on a set of course that I've purchased or downloaded or whatever, and we're going to take them up Goodwood Hill Climb just to see which one's the fastest. And first, we got the beautiful Jordan 191, which is actually voted the uh, best looking Formula One car ever, I believe. It is definitely up there. Sounds great as well. Pure yeah, power. It's just the drive. It's the it, the times aren't quick. It's the driver, not the car. That's me. Absolutely myself to blame. Yeah, so this was his first car in the 1991 season. He only drove it for a few hundred yards in the actual race, but he qualified. The qualifying was amazing. Um, that was kind of the emergence of the man, really. Um, so yeah, let's see what time it does. That's a 46.618. Now we got one of my favourites, the Benetton B195. Um, dominated that year, to be honest. Nobody even got close. So let's just negotiate the, uh, the pit lane. Yeah, right. And Schumacher himself said, I think Gerhard Berger as well, it wasn't the best class to drive uh, this, despite it winning the World Championship. Uh, it was just fast, it did have handling issues, it's squirming all over the place now, actually, but um, it's an almighty car for every one of my favourites uh, within the sport. Yeah, God, this is loud as well. Um, not turn the volume down. Also, um, have a look at the settings if you're not getting a um, great picture. Um, just yeah, turn the quality up. Sometimes the setto doesn't. Uh, you're not loaded to YouTube. I won't know until then. It doesn't show a great picture. But that one was a 30.4, so a lot quicker. But then again, this is three years after the Jordan. I mean, the Jordan itself wasn't terribly a quick car. Um, but uh, yeah, now we move on to the Ferrari F310B from 1997. Uh, itself, um, of course, famous for the 19. Take out the punters. 97 uh, incident with uh, Jack Villeneuve where Michael attempts to take him out at Jerez for the World Championship. Win at all costs. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful V10 in the back of this yeah, they should put a curb there really but you just <laughs> you can see where like, they uh where they go over the grass great stuff it's getting kind of quite nice to this as well there's more of a dry I don't say this is a driver's eye view a bit lower down that's a great mod Okay, across the line, what have we got there? That is a 39888. Now we're moving on to arguably one of the cars from one of his best seasons, which was the F2002. Um, on the podium in absolutely every race that year. Reliability as well in the V10 era, which was not always the case. If one, if one cars then weren't as reliable as they are today, you know, but... This one was, um, it was an utter beast. So let's see what it can do going up. Famous Goodwood Hill climb. <sighs> bit twitchy actually. It's not me uh, warming up the tyres. That's how it is. I, I do prefer the look of the groove tyres as well compared to like, the slicks. They're obviously not as fast, but still a great look. There we go. Try not to bottle this last couple of turns here. Should be flat out from here. Or is it here yet? Yeah. Go all in. And across the line there with a 36 point. Sorry, 38.006. Okay, so now the F2004, arguably one of my favourites. Um, it probably is my favourite racing car, to be honest. Comes with the game, so you'd have to mod this. Um, but yeah, it was an utter beast that season. 
I really want this to be the fastest. That's just, that's down to me, I think. Pushing it here. Great V10 sound again. I could sit here and talk to you about Formula One way back when for a long, long time. Okay, now we're going up the hill. Absolutely flat out. And that braking zone is crucial around there. Here, we need to be flat. And that's not a great time. That is a 39.573. Mm. Thought we could have done a little bit better there. So what we got here? We got the F, the sorry Ferrari 248 from 2006. Remember this fondly from the F1 Championship Edition days. Um, yeah, I remember that's where that that's the main memory for me and how great that game was. This, yeah. His first it was Ferrari's first attempt at a V8, I believe, in a Formula One car for a while. Um, it's two four eight. It's named, of course, after the V8 engine it's got in the back. Still sound great to the V8s. It'd be interesting to see what sort of time we get with this. It's not going to have the power, obviously, of the V10s, but it will have that. Uh, it's a bit lighter, so it's, if you can feel that it's easier to sort of turn in. So we got a 38.962, which is itself is faster than the uh, V10. Or any of most of the V10s, not uh, the O2 though. So we move on to the final car that I have, and this is from the comeback era. So this is a 2010 Mercedes. Uh, this was the model I actually purchased, but it, it looks fantastic, handles great. Let's see what it does. Oh, on the grass. Get the power down though. It's not bad. It's turning into a sketchy drive, this. Feels fast. So I'd like to hope that it is. If the long one up the hill. No aids, no DRS, anything like that with this. And they kind of they had the F duct in twenty ten, but that was Kind of came in later. Whether the Mercedes had that, I don't remember. <sighs> Almost clipping the hay. And there we go. So Thirty-seven one one zero. So that's the fastest time we have today. Yeah. So remember to turn the quality up if it's not as uh, great on your screen. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe.